Hello one footballers and welcome back to one two extra this is where we just tackle one question and me and Matt have a quick one two between us and you can decide who scored the goal make sure you go watch episode 12 of the proper episode of one two just just a little thing that we're trying out so let us know your thoughts if you like it and make sure you comment in five minutes we're going to put forward our argument so I'm going to start the question is why are Man City so good go Matt Coaching. It is Guardiola as a coach. Well, I'm going to say it's money. Go. <laughs> that, he's just fantastic. I think it's proven in the track record, his legacy for the last 10 years, ever since he took over at Barcelona. And then he went from a place where Frank Reich had already really done most of the work for him. Messi was already a team. Andrew no, Iniesta was no, already a team. No, he's genius. He changed Messi. Right, he changed Messi. He took Barcelona to one of the best clubs side the world has ever seen. He then went to Bayern. Which after, was a done deal. Like, well, I can manage Bayern, Jesus. He like. went to Bayern after they won the treble with Jupp Heynckes, right? They had a load of experienced players. Robin, Ribery was there. And he managed to take them. Imagine going up to Ribery, right? The first day of pre-season and saying, as Guardiola, you're going to do things my way now. He's turned around and said, I've just won the treble. I don't need to learn anything new. But he still managed to win the round. So they got them playing amazing what, football. What, what, That's what, how much of a legacy he leaves. What Pep did, he took an amazing team and kept them amazing. Like, that's not hard. I want to see keep them Pep in a cold night in Stoke, managing Stoke, and to see how good he is then. He didn't, don't act he like didn't these players didn't amazing. exist. But this is, this is the point. If he stepped into a Bayern team who had just won the treble, yeah. there isn't a harder job than achieving 100% success again. I, mean, I think there is a harder job. Than that. How that's, like saying, job? A, that's like it's a struggle if, to be a billionaire. Like, oh God, it's a struggle he, to be a billionaire. No, it's a struggle to be took poor over at Stoke, and then get money. If he took over at Stoke, right, and they had not many expectations, it's not that difficult a job. Yeah, but if you take over at a place where it is demanded that you win so every the, the trophy So the criteria of your argument is expectations, not achievements. So if and you take- football. Yeah, but and the, football. No, but they, their expectation was to win, and they already had the players to win. So that's not a hard job. That means you just have to maintain winning. Right. Like, it's, it's like you're a school teacher. Einstein, the young version, strolls into your class, he's gonna get straight A's. That kid who can barely write his name, his name's Jello, like, that's the kid that you trying to get them to A's way harder than making a, a genius stay a genius. They're already gonna be genius, you just have to manage them being genius. Like. So you've got to manage 23 geniuses, guys who are at that's the top easy. of their game. That's an easy life, like, if anyone's oh, a teacher who's watching on. this, Tell them how hard it is if you're a to teach and you think kids you're gonna up walk and in. kids stay the same. If you think you'll walk into a top club and be like, you guys are already amazing, just go out there and do it, and you think that's all you need to say. Well, I'm not saying that's all you need to say. No. You're trying to pretend like money doesn't exist. And remember, we're talking about the, Man City right now. So when he strolled into Man City, they were still a top three side. Yeah. And obviously, this season has been killing it. But at the same point, he spent a hell of a lot of money to do that. Now, you could say, as your argument, I'm gonna do it for you, you could mention Mourinho, how he's really not done the same same at Man U and then it comes down to coaching but at the same point the money has been the difference maker because I still believe if Wenger had the same amount of money as Pep or Mourinho then he'd be up there killing it as well when you can pick and choose the best players then yes you need a philosophy but if you took Pep and put him at Crystal Palace mm. his philosophy is not going to work I always use this analogy it's like you're a chef and you've got to cook of three course Michelin star meal. Now, if you're buying your food from Netto or Aldi, then your food's gonna suck. It doesn't matter how good of a chef you are. Now, if you're getting some foie gras from the French, I'm just making stuff I don't, I don't even know now, but you're just getting some good food from Harrods. <laughs> <laughs> if you're getting stuff from Harrods, even if you're a bad chef, you're still gonna taste delicious because it's from Harrods. No, right now, you're trying pressure. to big up the Harrods chef the rather pressure. than respect the Netto chef. Me, I respect the Netto chef. Like, I'm a the Netto chef. The thing is, the hardest jobs in the world where you have to be the most successful all the time, which is why he's paid the most that's money. Not, no, that's not how... Look, if any coach great, can make Fabian Delft a good We're into capitalism versus <laughs> <company. Yeah. laughs> socialism right now. The hardest jobs in the world are not people who get paid the best money. I'll give you an example. My nan, I'm getting into family history now, my nan's a nurse and most people who know nurses know they work ridiculously hard but they don't get paid a lot. So that means because they're not paid a lot, they don't work hard. No, they work ridiculously hard. And at the same point, within any sphere of jobs, your value in terms of salary is based on what you contribute to the club or to the business and not necessarily how hard you work. You can work hard for free. 
Now, in terms of our argument, yes, Pep's a great coach. Yes, last season I was like, yeah, Pep's not great. But this season he's killing it. But he still spent a gang of money to get there. And also, Man City already had decent players. It wasn't like he just strolled in and they were Leicester. Like, yeah. for me, in a whole argument, Ranieri did the best coaching that the Premiership's ever seen. Other than the Invincibles, finger. but with that said, Pep's done amazing stuff, and Liverpool was the wake-up call for everybody who's been just deep throating that Man City penis. It's a situation where, yeah, the penis is big, and yeah, it's, it, they do a good job, but don't make it out like it's a horse just swinging around, knocking people out. Like it's a situation where Pep is good, and He's on but money there. exists. Like, money exists. People aren't like money doesn't exist anymore. I don't I'm understand. not saying the money doesn't exist. I'm saying it's there to be spent correct, right? And he has got a disposal. However. He's made some players play even better than they thought they could. Yeah, Family he's given. He's, 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 he's been a good life coach for people. But at the same point, it's easy to life coach people when you're Tony Robbins and you're already a millionaire. <laughs> like, if the homeless guy on the street gives you advice, you're like, nah, mate, dude. How's I, your I, life doing? I, I, I agree so, at some point. However, is it coaching or is it just confidence? Coach. Like, I'm playing for Pep. That's not coaching. That's just like I don't know. That's just he's just the guy already. Like. I think it's a situation where money plays so much part of our game right now and people need to really start acknowledging this because everyone's not on an equal platform. It really isn't. What Leicester, what Leicester did was amazing. Yeah. What Arsenal was doing before was amazing because Man U always had money. Like People act like Alex Ferguson was struggling for cash. They had like Rio for like 30 million when 30 million was a lot of money. Yeah, like, like they'd all, Exactly. <laughs> They've been spending all this while and Arsenal's like not been a big spender. So money's always been the difference maker between who finishes where, and it's as simple as that. So this has been a one-two before Matt gets anything else in. <laughs> I'm gonna say that I wanna know in the comment section, who do you think won? Was it me or was it Mr. Frolic? Thanks for watching, we'll see you soon. Peace.